So go ahead and find whatever position feels comfortable to you today. You can um, take the legs and the arms wide. You can take supta with the soles of the feet together, knees apart. Um, if it might feel nice to have some um, extra opening across the chest and you have a blanket available, you can roll it and slide it under the backspace of the shoulder blades and just kind of peel the, the arms up and open. So just take a few moments. Find thyself into comfort and grounding in whatever way, shape, or form that looks like this morning. And then once you get there, maybe just take a huge sigh because I think we all kind of need one. <laughs> and maybe it's followed by another. And these can be as loud or ridiculous or as um, potent as you need them to be. And then when and if it feels appropriate, just go ahead and close the eyes and gently start to cultivate that awareness um, of your breath this morning. Really, really sweet and simple. And what I want you to notice as you're coming into this um, breath awareness practice is just the textures, the color maybe. Notice the depth of your breath. Perhaps it has a very marked entry point in the body or a pathway in the body. So you're just looking for some of these clues in the breath. And as you're exploring, I want you to also see if you can sense for this element of potential in the breath. So what does potential show up as in your breath? And I'm not talking about potential as in like academic success and scholastic potential. I'm talking about like kinetic potential, um, potential for vitality, potential to flourish, like that sense of potential in a seed when it's ready to come open. See if you can just sense for some of that vitality in your breath. I was, um, I have a book that I read pretty frequently called uh, The Crossroads of Should and Must. One of my favorite passages, um, it's, it's a whole page, she's watercolored this book. Um, uh, she's an artist and um, one of the quotes that she watercolored says, every morning upon awakening, I experience a supreme pleasure, that of being Salvador Dali. <laughs> and I ask myself, wonderstruck, what prodigious thing will he do today, this Salvador Dali? And of course, the quote is from Salvador Dali. Um, but I love it, that ability even for Salvador Dali to sit in this space of um, newness, in this space of potential. Um, the breath is just such a beautiful, potent reminder of that in our bodies all day long when we take the time to stop and realize each inhale has this sort of kinetic kick to it, each exhale has a force that grounds. Um, and those um, enlivening and grounding forces are what move and drive and pull and um, ground us into our days. Um, just a really beautiful thing to sit here with at the beginning of practice before we begin to move. And I want you just to keep that element of um, vitality, maybe is the word for you, potential if that rung true for you. Um, just that element of what could be um, as carried through the breath as you're moving through practice today. If you're on your backs <clears throat> and you have any sort of a blanket underneath you, you can go ahead and move that off to the side. And then just take a nice big stretch. So reach the arms up overhead, extend the legs along down along the mat. Really just get that full stretch here through the belly, through the front of the hips, maybe rock from side to side. And then bring the soles of the feet up onto the outside edges of the mat. And we're gonna take the arms either to cactus shape, or if it's uh, comfortable and available, you can reach around for opposite elbows and anchor the elbows back. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, just let the knees fall to the left. Inhale, come through side with the knees. Exhale, knees fall to the right. And that's it, just for the next few rounds. Side to side, maybe still the eyes are closed. 
want you just to slow the leg movement down and map up against your breath, almost like it's the breath that's telling the legs to move into the twist or to come back up through center. Good, and the next time the legs come to the left, let the knees fall to the left, and then straighten the legs out long so that they're coming up the outside edges of the mat and roll onto the left side body. So the legs should be staggered here. The right leg is behind, but left leg is in front. And we just want you to grab for opposite elbows. If that's uncomfortable, you can let the right arm lay uh, in front here. Maybe you take this right arm straight up overhead and grab for the left or for the right wrist with the left hand and stretch. Just give a nice long right body stretch. Really drop that right hip towards the heels, away from the shoulder. Good. And then come back down onto your back sides. Just spread out into a starfish shape. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Bring the soles of the feet back towards the front of the mat. Legs together. Interlace the hands. Nice big body stretch. Oof. And then soles of the feet on the mat. Outside edges. Let's we'll start to the right this time. Knees fall to the right. And center. And left. Again, this is with your breath. So taking these movements as slowly or as quickly as your breath is moving this morning. And then the next time you come to the right with the knees, keep the knees to the right and then just straighten the legs out. So they're gonna be in kind of a V shape. Rock onto your right side body. And maybe you just stay here and you're really pressing down the inside edge of this left foot. So you should feel this in the outside of the hip and the left side body. Maybe you reach the left arm up overhead and grab for the right wrist. Or sorry, the left wrist. Drop the left hip away from the shoulder. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, peel it back onto the backs. Shake the legs in and out. Shake the head side to side. And then hands come behind the thighs and just encourage the knees up and towards the chest. Hands to shins, hands to knees. Gentle pulses here. Maybe you might even want to rock side to side. Getting a massage through the low back. Good. And then we're just going to do a really uh, gentle core warm up. Take the knees over the hips, shins are parallel, and reach the fingertips straight up. We're going to alternate one toe lowering towards the earth and one arm reaching back. And this can be small ranges of motion or big. Um, you can experiment there. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, lower the right toes and the left fingertips back. Inhale, bring it back to the center. And then other side, left toes tap, right fingertips reach back and come through center. So again, less to worry about here with the range of motion. It's a core um, exercise. I want you just to think about keeping the belly button and the side walls of the belly pulled in towards the spine and keeping this whole space relatively stable as you're taking this movement. So you'll know if the low back starts to peel off and the belly is extending up that the movement might want to be smaller. You might even take the arms out of it and just bring the hands to the belly here and do the toe taps if that's helpful and have that tactile um, assistance of keeping the belly engaged. I'm gonna take one or two more. Ooh, I lost it. Oh my gosh, if you lose it, it's really hard to figure out which leg to start with. <laughs> okay, and then complete it. Give your hands to your shins. Gentle rocking side to side, and we'll just find our way on up into boat. So from here, you might want to rock onto your side body and come around, or you can just roll right on up. And I want you just to keep your hands behind the thighs for today. If you're ready for a bigger extension, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I just want you to stay here, engaging the belly, feeling that rooting down through the sit bones, and lifting up through the space of the heart. Roll the shoulders back. One more deep breath in, lifting through the space of the heart, and then cross up the ankles, rock on up and over, and come into cat cows from tabletop. So hands under the shoulders, knees a distance apart. Let these be whatever your body needs this morning. So maybe cat cow is more of a C curve, side to side, maybe it's barrel rolls. Just take a few moments of breath to explore. And again, similar when the knees were moving side to side at the beginning, let the breath guide here. So maybe more out of your head, um, more into the breath. 
sending it into the spaces between the ribs, the front bellies of the tissue, the back spaces of the kidneys. So I can take one more there. And then we're going to go ahead and come back into child's. Press down through the big toe mounds, knees come wide, big toes come to touch. As you're coming into child, I want you to flip the palms up today and glide them forward. A gentle pressure down on the pinky edge of the fingertips as the head drops forward between the upper arm bones. Deep breath in. On an exhale, feel the belly soften. Inhale, send the breath to the back space of the heart and almost puffs up a little bit. And then exhale, really soften. Then press down through the pinky edges of the fingers and start to glide them back towards the hips as you come to sit onto the heels. Bring the knees together and shift the hips up. Hips over knees, fingertips reach high. Elbows bend out towards the sides. Send the fingertips slightly backward and the elbows sit forward. Kick down through the knees, drop the hips, and just lift the heart. Exhale, stay. Inhale, keep the heart lifting. Just reach the arms back. On an exhale, keep the heart lifting. Let the arms drop down with the side bodies. On an inhale, hands to heart. On an exhale, bring the spine to stack by that vertically. We're going to just shoot the left leg out to the side here. Left outside edge of the foot is pressing down. Arms reach high. Wrap the knee fingers towards the face. Get long through the torso and just gentle pulses over to the left. Exhale, takes you over, inhale to center. Maybe they get a little bigger as you go. Take two more. The arms can be really energized or they can be more flowy. It's up to you what you're cultivating in your practice. And the next time you bring the left hand, um, or come to the side, bring the left hand down onto the outside of the calf, the outside of the thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, turn the left toes out, bend the knee, and we're shifting the weight over towards the left thigh. Left arm comes to the inside of the left knee here and presses back. Right arm still reaching up and over. Good. Then turn this right palm out the way, flex through the heel by hand and draw it down towards the hip, right down towards the shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hand around to the space of the heart. Round a little bit towards the left knee, and on an inhale, press through the feet, lift through the pelvic floor, and use this hand to traction the heart around, lift the chin. Exhale, stay. Deep breath in. And then exhale, just let the hands come down to the inside of the left foot, walk them back around to the mat as you straighten through the left leg, return the left outside edge of the foot towards the floor, tap the back toe, and flip the left leg back and around. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower the toes down towards the earth. On an inhale, press and lengthen the right toes back. Exhale, lower. Down to tabletop. Other side, go ahead and let the knees come wide. Sit the hips back, palms face up, round the spine. And really move the breath here. So you're in child's, but almost exaggerate the breath. So on the inhale, you can grip it up. And then on the exhale, the belly drops, the heart moves forward. Inhale, and exhale. Another one, deep breath in, and exhale out. This time press down to the pinky edges of the fingers or just walk the hands back, coming all the way up to seated. Knees shift forward, hips over knees, arms reach high. Exhale, elbows wide, practice arms. Really draw the elbows back, scoop them forward, fingertips drop back even more. And you're feeling weighted and strong through from the hips down here. There's a gentle drop of the tailbone. And then the heart is driving up. Nice. Keep that, reach the arms back. Exhale, stay, drop the arms down. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, bring the heart back up. Reach the arms high, the right toes out towards the side. Gentle side bends over to the right. So again, taking these with your breath. Really simple movement here. Coming back to noticing the, the impact of the inhales and the exhales on the postures. So 
as you're coming into stillness or taking these gentle flows, just noticing the weight that the inhales and the exhales are going to create space and movement. Go ahead and come over to that side bend now, right hand to the outside, left arm reaching up. Go ahead, turn the top palm out away, flex through the heel, and you're going to drive it down. Then bring it around to the space of the heart. Turn that right foot out and soften the knee. Good. Right hand, right forearm presses to the inside of the knee here. Round the spine towards the knee and then peel it open. And maybe close the eyes. And your hand is on your heart, people. So maybe just taking this moment, we'll do this gesture a lot through class as a check-in. Maybe sometimes it's a check-in on your breath. Maybe sometimes it's a physical check-in. Maybe sometimes it's emotional. Each time giving yourself that openness, that potential for there to be a new answer. Then we're going to hand down, coming back, hands under the shoulder, straighten through the right leg, and then send it back up and around. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower the foot. Press down through the hands, down through the back toe. Float the left leg back. And then lower. Good. And lower back down into child's. Just for a couple rounds of breath, maybe kiss the belly towards the thighs here, rocking side to side. And when you're ready, coming back up into down dog. And let's be active about it, which doesn't mean super energized or hard, but just pedal through the feet. Or shake the head side to side, maybe rock it forward and back. Good. And then from here, on an inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, stay square the right hip down. And on an inhale, we're just going to rock forward and back through the shoulders, keeping the right leg lifted. So on an inhale, rock the shoulders forward. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale, forward, press down through the palms of the hands. Send the hips slightly up and back as you come back to down top. This next time, bring the shoulders over the wrists and just step the right foot towards the right hand. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms left high. Exhale, hands sweep back. Press down through the back toes and lift the knee. Good. Then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center as you soften the back knee. And I just want you to take a couple bounces here. Feeling through the feet, feeling that energizing through the legs. And then come to stillness. Draw the right thigh bone back. And just see how quiet you can get. Notice what you notice. Deep in the breath now. Deep inhale. Exhale through the feet. Inhale, straighten the back leg, reach the arms really high, and then frame the front foot. Sweep the right leg back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts this time. Exhale, stay here with the leg lifted, just square the hips down. On an inhale, keep the leg lifted, lift, uh, roll the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, send them back. Two more times. Inhale, forward, and back. Forward, and back. This next time coming forward, just step the left foot by the left hand and bring the back knee down. <sighs> hands to the front of the knee here, just to give yourself a moment. Then reach the arms high, tuck the back toe, breath in. On an exhale, sweep the arms down the back, lift the back knee. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up, high lunge. Exhale, hands down to heart. And stack the other hand over, you can figure that out. Do soften the back knee and bounces. Again, when you're taking these bounces, you know, you can be as dramatic as you want. I like to just find this place of buoyancy is maybe a different word for it, so the muscles are engaged and the balance is easy. I feel like I'm stacked over my joints. Okay. And then with that fire, just let it come to stillness. And notice the movement of it throughout the body. Notice the breath in response. Notice the mental energy. Starting to get deep in the breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, straighten the back leg, arms high. Exhale, frame the front foot. 
Inhale, sweep the left leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Rise up on the toes. Soften the knees and travel towards the front of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Bend the knees a lot. Grab for opposite elbows. And just bounce, maybe sway. Dropping the head. But taking some gentle movement here. And then let that movement find its way to stillness. In the legs, in the torso. And then really move the breath. So lengthening the inhales through the spine. Exhale, really feeling the top of the head weight towards the earth. Really be purposeful with that breath. Moving the energy through the forward fold. And then allow the body to adjust as a result of the breath. Good. If you have the arms in any sort of bind, go ahead and release them, starting to roll up one vertebrae at a time. And then all the way up to standing. Rolling the shoulders up, back, elbows up, back, arms, hook the thumbs up, get long through the side bodies, press down through the toes, exhale, down. Good, okay, bend the knees here. Feet are going to be about hip distance apart, hands to heart center, just bend the knees. Stop them. You can come really down deep into chair, you can stay high, take a deep breath in. Exhale out. On an inhale, we're going to come to stand on the right leg, and the left leg's going to reach out to the side. Toes are pointing forward, foot flexed, arms reach high. Exhale, hand, foot lands back at distance apart, hands come back to heart center. Other side, inhale, left leg, the foundation, right leg reaches out, arms grow high. Exhale, bend. One more time, each side. Inhale, open. Woo. Exhale, bend. Inhale, open. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stand on the right leg, reach the arms high. Then drop the fingertips forward. The left leg is going to come back. We're going to meet in Dukasana. Warrior three. So square the hips. The toes are pointed down. The arms are reaching back. Once you have the line at the top of the head to the sole of the foot, knit up through the front ribs and the belly button. Right, that's like the middle of the seesaw. And start to come forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Really reach back through the left foot and the fingertips. Scoop the heart forward on this last breath in. Then bend the standing leg. Lower the back toes. Inhale. Arms come high. Exhale. Elbows come wide and soften the back knee as you bring the left elbow forward, right elbow back. Inhale. Straighten the legs. Elbows come out to the side. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Center. Maybe on the inhales here, this front leg is straightening the whole way up to you. Again, let the breath guide you into any of these add on to the posture. Maybe you're even opening up the belly towards the left. On the inhale, take one more here. And when you unwind this time, let you, you unwind all the way to the side of the mat. Toes are out, bend the knees. Deep breath in, lengthen like through the spine. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, right elbow. So same twist, different foundation. And notice the difference here from the way the body was just moving and the freedom in the movement. Different container now, noticing how your mind's adapting to that. Good. Come back through center. Exhale, take the hands down through heart center, sit a little bit deeper. Finding the breath and the stillness. Good. And then let the hands come down to the thighs or to the knees and just sit a little lower. You can rock side to side. Maybe a nice twist through the spine. Okay. And then from here, coming all the way down, we're just going to spin the heels back. Outside edges of the feet are parallel towards one another. Just come to take a few moments in uh, standing wide legged forward fold. You can have the hands under the shoulders. You can come all the way down. Maybe take a twist. Any sort of variation here that feels nice to you will have a second set. So if you're choosing a variation that needs to be balanced out on the second side, just know that that's coming. Good. Then we'll all meet back up with the hands underneath the shoulders. Take a breath in. 
On an exhale, bend the left knee towards the back of the mat, let the left fingertips come wide, and then we're coming all the way around to lunge at the front of the mat, turn the right towards the out, then onto the left big toe mat, left hand anchors, press down there, lift the hips, feel the right arm open. We really draw the right hip back here, lengthen the right side body, you'll get this lovely stretch into the right hip. Good. Then the right hand comes down, sweep the um, right leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Your choice of a flow here if you'd like. You haven't done any in class, but if you'd like to see something in here, otherwise you can just breathe in down dog or maybe take some other set of postures here that helps you come back to neutral. Good, and then we'll be back at the top of the mat, rising up on the toes on the breath in. Exhale, traveling forward. Inhale, flat back. Melt on the exhale. And then come on up. Reverse palm dive, roll up. Whatever you want. Hands to heart center. Take a breath in here. Feel the feet wide. Lift the heart towards the thumbs on an inhale. Exhale. So up. Left leg's the foundation. Arms are going to reach high. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, arms reach high. Maybe this time you're challenging the elbows to come all the way down to the knees. Inhale. If you're doing that challenge, you will not go to the start for me. I don't have them. Although I saw them once. I have a star. I have a star. It said, yay, I adulted. <laughs> I don't start. Go ahead and stand on the left foot. Right leg lifts out towards the side. Arms reach high. Just take a moment here and take up space. Right? Pause. Then do asana. Arms reach forward, leg reaches back. Find that alignment here before you get lifting the leg happy. Knit the front ribs and knit the belly. Kick back through that right foot. And continue to kick back with that foot as you lower the torso down towards the earth. Find the length. If you need a micro bend in the standing leg is really helpful for getting more kick back through that right leg, length through the front of the head. One last breath in. Bend the same leg, lower the back toe down, inhale, all the way up through the arms. Exhale, elbows to cactus, bend the back knee, right side body comes around. Inhale, unwind. And you're on your own now with the breath. So finding these twists, notice the way the breath really wants to squeeze and finish the end of the movement and breathe openness into the end of the other movement. And see if you can explore. Some of that potentiality in breath. We're going to take one more. When this next inhale comes, open it all the way to the side of the mat, toes out, hips low, and continue moving around to the right. This time the left elbow is coming forward. This is almost like a pillow. As you're inhaling, filling the torso with air, exhale, see if you can spine it all the way out. And take one more, then come back, hands to heart center. Turn around and face your eyes. Sit a little lower, and then drop the hands down. Again, side to side. If you're here as long as you'd like, cross your knee to Padasana or standing wide legged forward fold. Next, so when you're ready, just straighten through the legs, spin the heels back, and come on down. Maybe taking the same variation that you did on the first side, maybe taking something different. And then we'll all be back with the hands underneath the shoulders, breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee, let the arms move towards the back of the mat, and then we're sweeping around to the front. Turn the left toes out, and onto the right big toe mound, right hand anchors, left arm reaches high. Draw the left thigh on back, and really breathe the heart open here. Nice, then the hand frames the front foot. On an inhale, sweep the back and high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, lower the knees and come into tabletop with the knees are covering. Draw the belly button up and in. Exhale, stay. Good. Inhale. Exhale, stay. One more. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees. Good. And just go ahead and sit back. 
under the heel, let's take a breath in. Exhale out. And like a Jedi, I want you to just get super clear on the breath. See if you can almost take your hand, find that internal dial wherever it is in your capacity and your physiology. Tuning the dial down on the breath, right? Keeping it clear, keeping it purposeful, keeping it alive, but softening the breath, allowing the tissues to soften with it. Right? And again, tapping back into that potentiality of the breath. And for a moment, just notice any of the emotional layers that you have going on in this moment. Be also noticing the emotional layers that you had going on this week and any other given moment and that whole rainbow <laughs> that I'm sure we're all experiencing right now. Um, I think oftentimes when we come to the map, it's to cultivate good, right? It's the potential of the moment and to do something beautiful and powerful with it. Beautiful and powerful can be um, sitting with what's hard, right? Maybe that's the potential of the moment, is sitting in that space of discomfort in between. Um, saw this really cute passage the other day. It said, um, I'm afraid, said Rabbit. What are you afraid of, asked Bear. I don't know, replied Rabbit, I just am. And I will sit with you until you are not afraid anymore, said Bear. We will face it together. And so just noticing here that union, right, of your breath, your body, your mind, sitting here together. Right? Even if you're alone in your room, finding that togetherness when you can turn towards your feelings rather than turn away. Maybe that's the potential of the moment too. And your breath will tell you. Go ahead, just walk the hands forward from here. Untuck the toes, a little pitter pattern. And then keep the knees over the hips. And we're just gonna walk the fingertips forward, getting a nice heart opener. If you have um, blocks, you can bring the blocks under the elbows and get a little bit deeper into the shoulder. You can also bring a blanket or a towel if you're gonna crack for the forehead or for um, the arms to soften. And this is a really beautiful posture here with the legs. Even though we're not standing, the legs are really important here. Tucking the toes, pressing down through the, through the knees. There's brightening and stability in the lower body. And then it even carries into the space of the belly. So you're zipping up through the belly button, knitting the front ribs together. It might actually lift you up out of the posture. See if you can hold that and then let the, let the openness, the expression of the posture come in, melting the heart down towards the earth. And then maybe you just take a few pulses there. Go ahead and come back up. Gently finding your way into tabletop. We'll tuck the toes. Send the hips back and up into down dog. And then on an inhale, lift the left leg. On an exhale, step it towards the outside of the mat. So all the way to the front, outside of the mat, turn the toes out. Stay lifted on this back knee to start. Come up onto your fingertips. I want you to think about pressing the earth away. Let the chin tuck towards the heart. Lift the hips and pull the belly button up and in. Really stretch the back space of the body. Take a breath in here. And then on an exhale, lower the back knee. Open up through the hips. Open the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart. Tuck the toes, press, lift. Exhale, big, glorious opening through the front side of the body. Good, one more. Tuck, really draw all of that tone up into the body, stretch through the back space of the body. Big exhale here. And then a shoulder roll. And then neck roll. And then let the arms come wide off the mat. Kind of slink it to the left and the right. And then the right hand comes underneath the shoulder. You stay on the fingertips or palm flat. Just make sure you're not sinking here. Do a gentle press. And my left hand's going to come to the inside 
of the left knee here. Roll onto that outside edge of the foot and just lean the, the heart back. Good. Options to stay here on this right arm as it is, or you can come down onto the right forearm. Get a little bit more into that hip. Options to stay there, or maybe release the left hand from the left knee, then the right back right knee and catch it in. And it feels really lovely here just to take all the tension out of the neck and let the right ear hang towards the right shoulder. There you go ahead and unwind. Come back up from this. <clears throat> Heel toe that foot over to the midline and then just sweep it back and high. Back tail down dog. Other side right away. We'll take the thread in, right leg lifts, step it towards the outside edge of the mat, <clears throat> toes turn out, back toes are tucked, knees lifted, up on the fingertips on a breath in, press, lift the hips, tuck the belly, tuck the chin, and then exhale, peel it open. Inhale. Exhale. On this last one, go ahead and come on up, hold the breath in maybe for just a moment. And then really soften and relax into this last exhale. Arms come wide and get a little slinky. Good. And then the left hand stays under the shoulder, peel onto the outside edge of the right foot, hand to the inside of the knee. Just get a nice press. You can stay really high here with the torso, lean it back. You might want to come down onto this left forearm if that's accessible to you. Sometimes that feels nice. And again, catching that back foot is another option. Don't forget to soften through the neck. Noticing here any places where you can release and soften and free up that energy into the spaces where it's needed. And then go ahead and release, bringing the hand back around, tuck the back toe, flatten the foot onto the earth as you heel toe it towards the midline. Sweep the right leg back and high. Exhale, down back. Rise up onto the toes, lower the knees down towards the earth, drop the belly, sweep the heart forward, breath in. Exhale, push the earth away, round the spine, exhale out, cross at the ankles. And come on down onto your backs. If you have a blanket or a block, go ahead and grab that. A pillow also works well. Just gonna do a few final things here on our backs. So as you're coming down, I'm gonna use a block. So the feet up onto the mat. <laughs> Lift the hips here. If you're on the block, lowest setting, right? No overachievers on the high setting. I don't want you to get hurt. Low setting. Under your butt. Drop the hips. Here we are. Or on your rolled up blanket or your towel. You just want enough height here that you can um, have some space to get the hips up off the earth. Bring your right knee in towards the chest. Hands interlace around the front of the shin. Just take a moment here to exhale. You don't have to pull in too hard. Good. Then release the arms, let the arms straight, but kind of catching the knee and knees hanging. Flex through the left foot and draw the left heel down the mat. Good. Then take a breath in and on an exhale, draw the right knee back and towards the chest. And you should feel this into the left hip, the left psoas. The further you can reach the left heel away from the body, the more I feel it. If this is too much, you might just soften and bend the knee. Some of us, especially runners, are really tight through the front of the hips, so you don't have to have this knee extended all the way. And also, the other lever here is this knee towards the chest, so just play. And then we'll switch sides. Left foot comes up, right foot comes down. Just take a moment here. To feel the hips grounded on towards the block, 
or whatever you're sitting on, left knee comes in, hands interlace. First things first, just taking a nice hug in. Okay. And then relax and catch the leg with the shin and the arms, flex to the right foot and draw the heel down the mat, straighten through the right leg. And then hug this knee back in. You might notice that one side is a little bit more talkative than the other. The more you breathe and the more you can soften, this is really about allowing, similar to pigeon, allowing those layers of the posture to show themselves. So keep leaning into the, ex into the exhales. And then we'll bring the feet back down on towards the mat. Both soles of the feet up, knees hip distance apart, arms off to the side. Restorative bridge for a moment. Options to stay here if you prefer to do um, more of a restorative shoulder stand, you can just lift the legs towards the ceiling. Both are lovely. And just soften with the breath as you come into this space of stillness. Rather than think about it, about it as a turning off, maybe thinking about it as like an incubation, <laughs> a caring moment for yourself, a restorative moment for yourself. So it's a movement that follows it is even more clear and more beautiful and more true to who you are, how you want to move through the world. Just another round of breath. And then we'll go ahead and bring the soles of the feet back down onto the earth if you have them lifted. Give a gentle press, move that block out from underneath you or whatever that prop was. Lower the spine down. And then any sort of movement here that you might need just to refine that length of the spine. Sometimes it feels nice to rock the knees side to side. And then bring your knees wide, soles of the feet together, arms out to the side. And I want you to take some energy into the palms here. You don't have to spread the fingers wide yet, but just send your awareness out to the palms. And then bring some awareness to the heart. And I just want you to think about um, what moves you in life. And when I think about that, kind of that notion of what I'm devoted to, to me, it goes back to love. My daughter, and think about sunshine, think about my friends, think about my practice. Just let your mind be your heart, just become the steady stream of things that light you up. We want you to, like, like a dam, build that up into your heart. Maybe even starting to feel that sense of like, oh my gosh, I need to smile, or oh my gosh, my belly is kind of twirling, like that much good stuff, as much as you can. And maybe it's just one thing that you're thinking about so much that your heart is just fuller and fuller and fuller. Take a deep breath in. And then on an exhale, I want you to pretend that you could send all that energy down and out into your palms. Right? Like they were big reflectors for your love out into the world. Maybe you can feel that tingling space. Maybe even flexing through the fingertips a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, just sending that out. And then deep breath in. On an exhale, bend the elbows, hands to heart. I just want you to get some of that too. Reflecting, right? Like these were mirrors. Reflect it back in. Maybe this is a final resting posture for you today. If you'd like to take a different one, you can let your body find its way into Shavasana in whatever way, shape, or form that looks like for you today.
coming back to the essence of the posture as one in which the wisdom of the practice crystallizes. Feel openness in the tissues. Feel grounded on the back space of the body. Clear in the breath. What I think is a good life is one hero journey after another. Over and over again, you are called to the realm of adventure. You're called to new horizons. Each time, there is the same problem. Do I dare? And then if you do dare, the dangers are there. And the help also. And the fulfillment or the fiasco. There is always the possibility of a fiasco but there's always the possibility of bliss. And gently bring your awareness back to the breath. From wherever it's lovingly decided to bless your body as home base. And then just start to deepen the inhales and the exhales. Letting that continue down through the body, that energy into gentle movement. And eventually in your own way, on your own time, go ahead and start to make your way on up to seated. If you're walking off to your side body, take a beat there. That moment to pause in the in-between. <clears throat> Postures of new beginnings and a beautiful place if you feel so called to set an intention for off the mat. And then when you're ready, go ahead and come on up into an easy seat. And just take the hands down to the thighs and give a nice friction rub. Not to the point where it hurts, <laughs> but enough that there's heat. And then hands come together. And maybe just let the palms hover away from each other for a moment. Just sensing for that heat, sensing for the energy between the palms. Take a breath in. And exhale, anchor them together. Thumbs right down to the heart space. We'll take a breath in. And on an exhale, gentle inward bow here and a moment to acknowledge everything that conspired for us this morning that held this space for us that allowed us to be in practice and then we'll bring the thumbs up to the third eye lifting the chin slightly in acknowledgement of this space <laughs> this community with whom we got to practice today for the practice itself and for all the lessons it may have given us, subtle and or otherwise, we send these as gifts out into the world as we seal our practice and bow forward. Namaste, lovely people. Thank you for practicing today. Drink your water, be well. I'm gonna unmute you guys so that I can say adios. Mwah. I love you all. Mwah.